This bill is one that uh, redefines uh, the, the terms uh, that can be, uh, that can continue after expiration of a government employee contract. Uh, specifically, it uh, limits the ability or uh, removes the ability for increases in the uh, salary or wages or an increase in the dollar amount of employee contribution by insurance benefits uh, after a public sector contract has expired. What we're doing is we're treating public employees different than, than regular employees in the private sector are. We're, we're stipulating to them what they can and cannot negotiate in collective bargaining. Um, and this is, this is wrong. I mean, the carve-outs for the police and fire, we should be carving out all of our public employees. This is, this is going right after and attacking um, collective bargaining and, and collective bargaining of our employee, state employees. There are two very significant employee contracts that expired back on June 30th of last year. Uh, we're approaching uh, 10 months, I believe, of uh, uh, time as we go forward uh, in which uh, we have unnegotiated um, increases, uh, unnegotiated autopilot increases, if you will, in the form of uh, wages and insurance uh, contributions from the employer. It's based on a false premise, and you heard it from the chief author. He said that public employees are getting unnegotiated raises. That's false. They're getting what was negotiated between their collective bargaining agent and their employer in the past. Nothing more, and it should be nothing less. This bill really puts the thumb on the scale in favor of management in this way. What we heard in committee was that there were a couple of arbitration decisions by arbitrators that went the way of workers instead of going the way of, say, a city or a school district or some other public entity. And the reason it went the way of the workers is the management side failed to negotiate or negotiate effectively enough a provision that it allowed for certain contract terms to stop if there was no contract. So instead of being better negotiators, instead of a school district or a city or any other entity being a better, more clever, craftier, more effective negotiator, they've come running to the legislature to fix their problem. I think, just as we often say in here, we want free markets and we don't want uh, the legislature intervening where private parties have a private agreement, I think the same holds true here. Let people who are negotiating a labor contract, let the unions and yet let public entities, whether it's a city or a county or the state, let them duke it out in a negotiating room and whoever negotiates the best deal, um, we should be fine with that. There being 68 ayes and 63 nays, the bill is repassed, the conference committee report is repassed and its title agreed to.